Hello and welcome to your brand new course, Build Responsive Real-World Websites with HTML and CSS. And if this is your very first contact with any coding of HTML or CSS, then let me also welcome you to the exciting world of web development. I'm sure that you're gonna love it. Now, as the name of the course says, this course is all about using the languages of HTML and CSS to build beautiful, responsive and also real-world website. And so this course basically covers four big topics. Web design, HTML and CSS of course, and responsive design. And this course is in my opinion the very best way of learning all this that you will find anywhere. And so really, you have come to the right place here. Now, before we start learning, let's take a couple of minutes to get a quick overview of how the course is organized and structured and also the projects that we're going to build together. So basically that you know exactly how this course is going to work. So this course is divided into nine sections with a total of 35 hours of video content. And it starts right here in section one, where you will get a high level overview of web development in general. And you will also build your very first, but extremely simple web page, just to get you excited for what's ahead. Then in section two, we're gonna move to the very basics of the HTML language by building a small project to give you a solid foundation for the rest of the course. After that, in section number three, you're gonna learn the foundations of CSS. So things like styling text, the CSS box model, and sizing and positioning elements. And we will even talk about some developer skills such as reading documentation, and debugging. Moving on, section number four is all about building layouts using CSS. So basically, it's about how to arrange elements on the page in a logical way. And we can do that in multiple ways in CSS, and so we will learn all of them, but actually focus more on modern technologies called Flexbox and CSS Grid. Then in section five, we take a small break from web development and move on to web design. And this is actually a really special section, which could in fact be an entire course on its own. So here I teach you countless easy to use design rules and design guidelines so that you can not only build interfaces, but also know how to make them beautiful and professional looking. And there are actually not many people who are good at development and design at the same time. And so this part of the course is going to be a great opportunity for you. Next up is section six, where we will learn all about common website components and common layout patterns that many websites out there use. So that then you can build your own websites in the future using these patterns too. And we will do this by looking at a ton of examples and also by building some components with HTML and CSS ourselves. Finally, sections seven, eight and nine are all about building our big course project, which is called OmniFoot. So here we will finally build that beautiful, responsive and real world website that this course is all about. And to do this, you're gonna use all the skills that you have accumulated up until this point, And of course, also learn a lot of new stuff, such as how to plan and sketch a website, how to make it responsive, and really how to handle such a big project from start to finish. So just look at this beautiful project right here. By the end of the course, you will be able to design and build something just like this on your own. And that is just amazing, right? Now, besides all this, there are also many coding challenges and also other opportunities for you to practice the HTML and CSS skills that you keep acquiring over the course of this course. Because 
Practicing is actually the single most important thing that you really need to do in order to learn coding. All right, so I hope that you're gonna have a ton of fun with this course now, that you become ready to build your own websites and that you will have a successful start into your web development career. And with that being said, let's now finally get started.